This is part 5 of SQL Server interview questions and answers video series. In this video, we'll discuss writing a SQL query to find all the employees who are hired in the last n months. If you have used the inbuilt date diff SQL Server function, then you already know the answer. We'll be using this employees table for this demo. Let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. I've already created this employees table. Here is the SQL script that can do it. I'll have the script available on my blog in case you need it. Now let's look at writing the SQL query itself. We want to select all the columns from employees table. Along with the all columns, I also want to select the difference between today's date and the date an employee is hired in months. And the easiest way to achieve that is by using date diff function. This method expects three parameters. The first parameter is the interval. That is, how do you want the difference between dates to be reported? Do you want the difference in days, months, or years? We want it in months. So I'm going to pass month as the first parameter. The second parameter is the start date. The start date is going to be hire date. So we want the difference between hire date and today's date. How are we going to get today's date? We can use get date inbuilt function. And let's give this column an alias. Let's call it diff. And then let's order the results by higher date in descending order. Let's execute this query and see what output we get. So look at the output. Notice the first two rows. If you look at these two employees, they are hired in the month of May. And if you look at today's date, it's May 30th, so we are in the same month. So obviously the difference between their hire date and today's date in months is zero. But for the employees who are hired in the month of April, the difference in months is one. For the employees who are hired in the month of March, the difference is two. So now we can use this expression to filter and get the employees that we want. Let's say, for example, the interviewer has asked you to find all the employees who are hired in the last three months. All you need to do is use a WHERE clause. So WHERE, the date difference in months is between 1 and 3. So that will give us the employees who are hired in the month of April, March, and February. So let's execute this query. Look at that. So people who are hired in the month of April, March, and February of 2014 are only retrieved. OK, so very straightforward. Now, let's say, for example, if the interviewer asks you, can you write a query to find all the employees who are hired in the last 30 days? Then we can use the same query. And then by simply changing the interval parameter here, we can achieve that. So we want to find out the employees who are hired in the last 30 days. So we want the difference between hire date and today's date in days. And if that's the case, use day as the parameter value for date diff function. And then let's change this upper threshold level to 30. So let's execute this and look at this. We are only getting the employees you know, who are hired in the last 30 days. OK, now if the interviewer asks you, you know, can you write a query to find the employees who are hired in the last one year, then simply replace this day with year. So the lower threshold is going to be one, upper threshold is going to be one. OK, so when we execute this, we get all the employees who are hired in the year 2013. OK, look at that. Uh, people who are hired from December through January of 2013 are only returned. If you want you know, all the employees who are hired in the last two years, OK, that is in 2014 as well as 2013, change the lower threshold to 0. Now, do we really need to have this date diff function in the select list? Not really, uh, since we want to visually see uh, the difference you know, in the result set. We have included it there, but the actual query need not have it. So here, you can put you know, any number that you want, and that's going to give you, you know, the employees who are hired until that year. So it's that simple. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.